Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Chanel, the owner of Three Walls Handmade Soaps and More. And in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you all how I prepare our lye water solution. All right, y'all. So right here is what is sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide, also known as lye or caustic soda, this is the chemical name for it. So you may often see it referred to as this. I'm not going to get into that. Um, I'm not a chemistrist. Definitely look at your periodic table. Okay, number two, we got um, it's highly caustic. So that just means that it will burn. Um, it is very corrosive. So just be very careful when you're working with this. It is water soluble. Pretty much it will dissolve in water. Um, any liquid, whether it be tea, water, you know, your puree, your ice cubes for your milk, things of that nature. Number four, it needs to be handled with care. So again, make sure you have on the right um, attire when you're working with this, the right um, protective um, equipment, your gloves, eyewear, long sleeves, long pants, and that, uh, you know, all those things. Um, number five, um, you definitely need this. So this is needed to make soap. So sodium hydroxide is needed to make soap, okay? Now, after the saponification process, sodium hydroxide is no longer present in the soap, okay? So you, you, it's needed to make soap, but after the saponification process, it's no longer um, in the soap. It done correctly. If it's done correctly, everything is mixed up correctly, it's no longer in the soap. And um, last little note, it is white in color and sometimes odorless until it comes in contact with liquid. Now, once it comes in contact with liquid, it's going to let off some very, very, very strong fumes. Now, I have had some um, sodium hydroxide from from different suppliers where it did have like a little odor to it as I was pouring it um, weighing it out so but for the most part it is sometimes odorless until it comes in contact with uh, liquid so that's pretty much all the little notes that I could think of right here and um, we'll go ahead and get started with the video all right guys so this video right here is definitely a little different we're pretty much just gonna be discussing um, working with sodium hydroxide so right here I have everything let me make sure you guys can see but I have everything on my table um, for this particular video and I wanted to do this video because I had someone comment on my last video about how to prepare the water uh, loss solution so I didn't feel right just responding and saying XYZ so therefore I wanted to make a video to maybe help uh, to maybe um, give you like a better understanding for those of you that are wondering and those of you that have worked with sodium hydroxide if I leave something out please definitely share it down below in the comment section okay so now let's get started right here I have some sodium hydroxide this is 100% make sure you're using 100% like 100% sodium hydroxide food grade food grade now this I got from Amazon I think it was like seven I think I ordered like seven pounds of it or something like that. I can't remember for sure. But each one came um, in their own little individual baggie like this. So we have that. Um, and it, I usually order this from Amazon. Like if I'm in a crunch and I don't have time to wait from my regular um, supplier. The one that I usually get my stuff from in, in bulk or whatever. So and then right here we need a container for our sodium hydroxide when we... Um, weighing it out when we're weighing it out okay of course we need our scale we got some gloves here we're gonna need a spatula as well as our plastic container now make sure you are using a heat resistant plastic container do not what well, I do not well do not use glass okay don't use glass to combine your sodium hydroxide to that do not use glass because it gets too hot it's too hot for that you're going to need some distilled water. I use distilled water. You're going to also need a mask and some protective um, eyewear, as well as long sleeves, long pants, closed toe shoes. And always, always, always make sure that you are in a well ventilated area. All right, so now let me put my gloves on and then we are going to get started with 
measuring out our water. And we're just going to do this all on camera. So. Okay. Now. Now that we have that done, now it's time to, we're going to move this, zero out our scale again, zero it out again, and now and it has one of those, hold on. Bear with me a sec. Excuse all the noise in the background. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to measure this out. Always zero at your scale, of course. Okay, so I put too much in there. Let me take some of this off. Just a little bit. Okay, that's what we got. Alright, so now that we have what we needed measured up, now I'm going to head over to our to my well ventilated area. Now I like to work outside. That is my well ventilated area. I have small children so therefore I take mine outside. If you can't go outside, that's fine. Just make sure you turn on like a fan. If you have to go in your kitchen, just turn on the fan and you know let that run because these are some pretty harsh fumes that comes off of this once it's added in there. And um yeah, so let me take my things outside. And then um, I'm going to bring you guys out there with me. Okay, guys. So we are outside now in my well ventilated area. And um, we're going to get ready to combine these two. Now, when you're combining these, when you're combining your sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, to the uh, water, your distilled water or whatever replacement you have, whether it's milk or um, any puree, vegetable juice, whatever you have, you always add your sodium hydroxide to your water. Never water to sodium hydroxide. Always add your sodium hydroxide into your water. Now, I like to slowly add mine in there. I don't just dump it in there. That can cause it to come on up pretty quickly. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to um, put my mask up and also I don't know how well my camera is going to pick it up but hopefully you will see like some um, the little particles like fumes and stuff like that. Never stand directly over this. Do not stand directly over this. Alright so now let me put my mask on and I'm just going to stir this up.
and you want to continue to stir until it turns clear. And as you can see, right here, it's starting to clear up. I don't know how well you guys can see. See, I remember when I first put it in there, it was all cloudy. Now it's starting to clear up. And sorry if I sound a little muffled. I do have on my uh, mask. I still have it on. Yep, so see, it's a lot clearer now. So, let me get my thermometer and then we're gonna, um, we're gonna see the, oh, sorry guys. We're gonna, um, we're gonna check the temp. So we're at, oh, where you at? Oh, we're at one, is it focusing? We're at 190 on the tent. Now, I don't, you don't want it to go over 200. Um, and that's just what I learned. You know, if you don't want it to go over 200. Now, we're at 190, and they say once it turns clear, it's starting to to cool back down so um now i like to let mine sit for a little bit just a little bit maybe like a few minutes or so before i bring it back inside and once i bring it inside i put it in the far back corner please keep it out of everyone's reach kids pets you don't want anybody to touch it because it will it, it, it can still burn so you don't want anyone to touch it so just be sure to put it out of everyone's reach okay so now it's been about maybe two minutes or so and I'm back inside with my uh, water lye solution this is now our water lye solution and let me get my spice So we're going to check this temp again. And before you check your temp, throughout it cooling down and everything, um, while you're monitoring your temp, always give it a stir before you check your temp, especially if you're using one of these thermometers. So now we're down to 176, okay? So just always give it a stir because if not, if you just got it sitting and you go to use your thermometer, it's only going to just get the surface. That's it. So, again, give it a stir before you do it. Like right there, we're at 177. So, let me see. And again, it's cooling down. 177. Okay. And I like to let my, um, my water lye solution and my oils I cool them down till about room temp. Um, it just depends on if I'm using any additives or not. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope that I explained that um, pretty easy to follow. If you have any more questions, definitely let me know in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.